New GEIS a Master Mentors Geo Enabling Indian Scholars. It's a program uh, which was announced in collaboration between Center for Knowledge Sovereignty and SC India. Uh, the objective of this program is to, uh, to inculcate uh, a geospatial thing. Students are going to be future citizens of this country and they are going to be you know, taking the country on the path of progress for years to come. So under this program, we will invite students from 8th, 8th grade to undergrad to, be, to join and learn about geospatial technologies, how certain things are done. And uh, there's a whole lot of program which, is, which has been created, which we are launching today. Uh, and uh, Shri Kiran Kumarji will give you a little more details of that. But the objective here is to, have, to change the thinking mindset so that in India, more fundamental research and development in the geospatial space can be taken up. And India, Indian students eventually should be able to file patents and create some intellectual property. Okay, we are all very clear that position, timing and information is becoming so important. And already all the gadgets what you are carrying in your hand provides you so much of capability of this PNT what you talk. And why the current uh, younger generation is actually making use of many of this, it's also important for us to make them aware what is in the background of this, how all these things are actually being utilized or brought into use. If we can start making the young kids and children become more and more aware of the technology behind the usages what they are taking, they will be able to pr bring up new solutions, new ways, find new ways of doing things. So one of the key objectives of this particular initiative is how can we make the younger generation become aware of what is happening technologically. The name is MMGEIS. If you see, this six alphabet can be broken into three sectors. MM stands for Master Mentor. So we all knew one thing that if somebody mentors you, then the life becomes easier and their vision are very clear. So one has to have a mentor. Who better than the best of the mentors available? So if I talk about in a layman's language, uh, engineer. So who should be the best engineer in this country? The highest level of engineer or the biggest engineer? So one which you will see the three gentlemen sitting here. So if it is space, I'm sure you will agree that former chairman <coughs> is a biggest engineer who is bigger than him or if you see surveyor general sitting on my right hand side or if you see director general uh, India Metallurgy department Dr. Ramesh so who would be the bigger bigger than them so we thought master mentor starts for those mentors who cannot have bigger than them and what about an 8 standard kid talking to them directly to have a mentorship that's why the two alphabet MM the second two alphabets GE stands for geo enabling so as we are into the uh, space called as geospatial now special if you ask some layman, if you would have asked my grandfather, probably he will think about a chai special kind of thing. But here, the specialist is S P A T I A L, which is about the science and the study, uh, which is there around the activities. Then the last three, two alphabets, which is I, stands for the Indian scholar. The students whom we have identified from grade A to eight till the undergraduate side. Now that is the journey. So this is this three set of two alphabets, which makes the six. Alphabet MMGIS. For first 1,000 students, which is being taken up as a pilot, uh, will be done from 8th of March. Uh, and then uh, later on in the June, we'll open the program to much larger set of students. Uh, the aim is to bring in 1 lakh students per year. And we are currently looking at a window of 5 years. Uh, and in 5 years, we, we, we look at making an impact on the society. In fact, uh, in the country in terms of uh, improving the way the students think. And uh, geospatial is an area which is being used in almost all sectors of economy today. Uh, for over the last uh, 10 years, I mean, in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the first term of Prime Minister Modi, uh, he had uh, a meeting of all the bureaucrats and he encouraged various government departments to work with ISRO. And I think that was a big turning point. So now most of the government, almost all government departments use geospatial technologies and 
This will give a new avenue for employment to the future students and it will benefit in increasing the productivity, efficiency, reducing costs. All those things will happen if we are able to create some new technology within the country. Water, air quality, and environment. All these five are very important and they are uh, intimately interacting with each other and uh, contributing uh, to the societal uh, uh, degradation of the resources. So, more of awareness related with all uh, the five elements will be part of this kind of work. And our purpose is to build uh, the uh, comrades to work for improving uh, the, the uh, environment around us and work towards taking the society to the sustainable development. Ivatena Shegravagi, the Matuvegavagi Badayatirva, Tantragnana, Vignana Tantragnana, the Vishagladi, Ati Shegravagi Beritar Takanta Sandar Delhi, Namamundina Pilige, Geospatial Technology and Reeno, other Mahatwayeno, other Upyoga or Rivag Marco Taidro, Adre Hinde Takanta, Tantrika Vishagalabage, Hechina Mahitiana or Gekoda the Care. Even the MMGIS Mulka, one the Pratna Nadita, E. Pratna the Lame, Modulo, Sumar one the Savira with the article again, even the Nala Katingla Kala, Kelo video program Glamulka, our game Mahiti and Koto, our game Pariksha and Kodamadi, our hourly E. Mahiti and Upyogs Kondo, Tamajiva and the Geospatial Technology and Auriti Baluskovodo, our problem solving Gehege Marbo do another care. Even the Pratna Nadita, Ido Prativarsha, on the Ido Ashgal Kala, Sumaru, Varshadali, one the Laksha, with the article again, on the Mahiti and Kodio Karakramana, Ham Kondi. My name is Agendra Kumar, I am Managing Director of ESRI India, uh, Master Mentor Geo Enabling Indian Scholars, MMGEIS, is this program uh, which we have launched today. Uh, this program will cover students from 8th grade onwards all the way to undergraduate programs. Uh, the objective of this program is to inculcate a sense of geospatial thinking and also cultivate uh, a research-oriented mindset in the student community of India so that these students later on in their careers, in their life, uh, they can get involved into R&D activities and create some intellectual property in India related with geospatial technologies and file patents so that our country should not be left behind other countries who are doing better in this space of creating uh, uh, new intellectual property. Uh, India has been very popular for geospatial applications, but the fundamental research needs some more work to be done, so I think that's what we are trying to address. Uh, we're going to look at about one lakh students per year. We are starting a pilot uh, very soon, which will have 1,000 students register. And once the pilot is successfully completed, we will fully launch this program in month of June 2024 and try to register 1 lakh students uh, in this program each year. So we are right now looking at five years window for running this program. There is no fee for this program and any student from any discipline from 8th grade onwards can join. It's, they need not be science students. We are not going to look for what marks they are getting in their school. Anyone who has interest in this area can join. And some of these students, after a evaluation over a period of four months, will be selected for mentorship by some of the eminent scientists of the country, like uh, Sri A.S. Kiran Kumar, who is the former uh, chairman of Indian Space Research Organization, uh, Lieutenant General Girish Kumar, who is the former Survey General of India, and Dr. K.J. Ramesh, who is the former Director General of India, India Meteorological Department. So these are, they are the master mentors, but we also have about 20 mentors who are going to help these students in learning more about geo, that how geospatial technologies evolve and how these are used in creating some of the apps which we use in our daily life.